Okay, question six. The following customer comment was used to promote a product intended to treat cats that suffered from cancer. It says, my cat was diagnosed with bone cancer three years ago. Her leg was amputated and I was told that she would only live for another six months. I saw advertising for Vivifel and immediately started her on this product. She has been in remission and healthy ever since. I thoroughly recommend this product and the effect it has on cancer in cats. What is the conclusion that appears to have been drawn by this cat's owner? What's this bit here? She has been in remission and healthy ever since. So her conclusion is that it's the Vivifel itself which has caused the remission and kept her healthy. Okay. Apart from being based on one cat, give one reason why it's invalid. Well, it's just the fact that it's not just the fact it's one cat, which obviously there's no information about that, but that means that you've got no control system, so you've got no uh, comparison with even one cat, uh, with cats without your Vivifel. Okay. Suggest the reason sorry, suggest why the results of the treatment are unlikely to be caused by a placebo effect in which even a dummy treatment can bring about some improvement. Well, it's because cats aren't human, although some people think they are, but they're not. Okay, so so cats don't have your psychological understanding. Okay, I'm sorry, physiological there. And then I can't spell psychological. <sighs> P-S-Y. because it's not like you're going to say to the cat this is a placebo and then spend time explaining what we mean by placebo. Um, and I can't even spell that. Oh, it's been a bad day for me not spelling things correctly. There we go. Placebo. Um, so yes, cat's not human. Uh, trials to test the effectiveness of the drug were set up using living cats. Describe one way to ensure that these trials were ethical. Right, so if there's anything to do with animal testing, you've got three R's that you should be considering in terms of what is involved here. So the first one is replace. So if you can remove them. Now, given you're trying to test it on living cats, we obviously can't do replace. Uh, we can refine the procedure, which is where we try to ensure that there is less harm. And we can certainly reduce, which is to reduce the number. So we use the absolute minimum number of cats that would be um, reasonable for the study, that would be a good one. That we minimise any harm that we possibly can from the study would be one. And I was kind of there with that and then I went and looked at the MART scheme and the MART scheme said that also, totally reasonable as well, um, that for humans we have informed consent and the right to withdraw. Now obviously the cat does not have informed consent and right to withdraw, but its owner should still have informed consent and the right to withdraw for the cat. So you could put that down as an ethical one as well. Okay, an appropriate null hypothesis um, would just be that Vivifel does not um, treat cats for cancer, um, does not affect cancer. Okay, that's question six.